Hello everyone, I have been requested to vlog about what I have for breakfast. So um, while we talk, I'm going to prepare it at the same time, but just to show you, one of um, my favorite things for breakfast is Stonyfield Plain Whole Milk Yogurt. As I mentioned before, I like to buy products that are whole milk because what they have to do to products to make them fat free, which we all know is bogus, um, or skim milk, anything like that. They add a lot of chemicals and they're taking the nutrients out of that. So um, like I said, I'm going to talk while I do this. I just take some yogurt into a uh, bowl and I'm going to slice up some banana. Other than having my yogurt with sliced banana, every single morning um, before I do anything, I have my coffee. And I, all I do um, is put in a little bit of milk or the cream that comes on the top of the milk, I'll put that in my coffee. Um, besides my yogurt with banana, another option that I really like is also with uh, some of the same ingredients in terms of the yogurt and banana, is I will put the yogurt and banana into uh, a blender and I will just to show you, this is about how much yogurt I put in there. Um, it's probably about a cup, maybe a cup and a quarter. And um, like I said, so another option that I like to do for breakfast is I put in the same amount of yogurt into the blender with some ice and uh, banana. And I'll put in a little bit of vanilla extract with a date. And I will then do either... Almonds, I like sliced almonds. Um, I just prefer them over whole almonds. And I will put that with either the sliced almonds or almond butter itself and mix that up for a smoothie. And that is just really, really good. And um, I don't know if you can see, but for my breakfast, I am just slicing up the banana like so. Other than that, um, other types of smoothies that I like are mixed berry smoothies with blueberries, um, raspberries, and just the same yogurt. Or I will do um, blueberry banana. That was another favorite of mine that I was on a kick for a while. But right now I'm on a banana kick. So um, I like to have the banana with my yogurt or I like to have a banana smoothie of, um, of sorts. Other than that, um, sometimes I will make a steel cut oat uh, recipe for, for oatmeal and that's a slow cooker recipe um, that cooks overnight, that's ready in the morning, um, you know, when I wake up and then it lasts me all week. That I can um, link where I got the recipe from, which is a blog that I've mentioned that I follow, heandsheeatclean.com. And that's really great because it does last all week and then all I have to do is heat it up. Um, when I do make that recipe that I, again I'll link below, I like to put in goji berries and raisins. Um, but other than that I don't alter the recipe in any other way. Now as I've mentioned before, I am um, I do work full time. So my weekday breakfasts vary from what I can do on the weekend because of course on the weekend I do have more time. So on the weekend, I like to make eggs. I usually have two sunny side up um, or over easy, whatever you want to call it, eggs. Um, and what I do, if you don't know what that means, it's just I crack the eggs in the pan, uh, however many I'm doing, typically two, and I let it cook um, so that way the white of the egg becomes white instead of clear and then I'll flip it over just to cook a little bit on the top part of the white and then when I eat it um, my eggs I like to just kind of cut the white part and only eat that on my toast and I end up giving the yolks to my dogs just because I'm not um, overly fond of it but I like to kind of dip my bread sometimes in the um, the runny yolk uh, with that, I do have um, usually one piece of toast, and the kind of bread that I buy is Heidelberg bread. It is made in, uh, grown in New York. It is, you, you can purchase it um, at usual grocery stores, at typical grocery stores it is carried. The thing that I love about that, pardon me, type of bread is the fact that it only has a few ingredients in it. 
It does follow the rules in, in terms of whole wheat and having minimal ingredients in it. Um, I will also put that name below so that way you are able to um, find it yourself. But it's um, the bread that I've found to be the best so far. Other than that, occasionally I will make um, pancakes, which um, for me is just, um, I follow like, a typical pancake recipe and I alter it, you know, for my needs. So I like um, to do whole wheat flour with oats and then um, I'll just put what, whatever it calls for in terms of baking powder. I, I use aluminum free, um, aluminum free baking powder and whatever other ingredients go into it because I don't memorize them off the top of my head, um, but I'll just tailor it to be a smaller recipe because typically um, the recipes that I find are for a large batch and since I'm only one person I'll just tailor that down quite a bit so that way I'll only be able to make a couple pancakes that I'll eat that day for myself. I don't like the idea of freezing pancakes just because I feel like it's so easy to do. I would prefer to make them fresh every time. Um, other than that, those are my favorites. I hope that you enjoyed this and have a good day.